In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to open a FITS image using Micro Observatory. As a reminder, a FITS image, that's FITS spelled F-I-T-S, is the most commonly used digital image type in astronomy. If you have already requested a FITS image through Micro Observatory, you can find a link to it in your email. If you haven't, you might first want to watch the tutorial, How Do I Request an Image? Okay, so first go into your email. You should see an email from microobservatory support at cfa.harvard.edu with a link to the image you requested. If you requested an image yesterday and you still don't have an email, give it until the end of the day. Sometimes it takes up to 24 hours for the image to arrive in your inbox. Okay, so open the email, as I've done here, and click the link near the top that says access your image of whatever you requested an image of. If the filter you chose was more complicated, you might see a link that says access your RET filter, etc, etc, or something along those lines. Or, you might see several image thumbnails with several similar links for the red, the green, and the blue filters. But basically, however many images you were sent in your email, download them all, because you will need them all later. Since my email here only has one image thumbnail, I'm just going to download one FITS image now. So, once you've clicked on the link and the image is opened in another web page, find the link on the page that ends in .fits, which is this link here. You should then right-click this link, choose Save Link As, and save this image somewhere you know you can find it. For me, I'm going to save it in a folder that I've called Microobservatory Images on my desktop. Also, as a note, this file has been given the name Saturn 1706010083229, and that may seem like a crazy sequence of numbers, but it's actually the timestamp for when this photo was taken. So this 17 right here is for 2017, this 6 is for June, this 1 is for June 1st, and this right here is the time, which is 832 and 29 seconds. Okay, so I'm just going to save this in the folder. Now for an important warning. You've got to right click and save this link and not the big image below it. This image is just a GIF preview to show you what the real image looks like, but it doesn't contain all the great information that comes with the FITS file. Next, go back into Micro Observatory, which you can get to by typing microobservatory.org into the URL bar. Click on Observing with NASA, and then click on the Analyze Images tab up here in the bar on top. Analyze Images is where you will upload the images you just downloaded and do your image processing. Now you're on JS9, this whole box of space right here. JS9 is the application you use to process your new images, and it's just like the software professional astronomers use to study their images. To open the image you just saved, the option you want is in the drop-down under Image. Click Open, and a dialog box will pop up. Figure out where you saved your image, which for me, if you remember, was in Microobservatory Images, and this is already the folder that's opening up automatically. Make sure you've got the right image type, which ends in .fits. If it ends in .gif, you probably downloaded the thumbnail image instead of the FITS image link a few steps back. Click Open, and there you go. You've got a nice new telescope image uploaded to JS9 and ready to be processed. And if you want to learn how to process this image, you should watch the How Do I Process a Fits Image tutorial too.